Okay, this is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. If you're watching this video here on YouTube, I suggest that you click the link below in the description. It's going to take you to a blog post um, that has a, a series of videos in the actual blog post um, that explains um, some things you can and can't do about deer jumping the string or ducking the arrow, whatever you want to call it. Um, but what it is when a deer hears the sound of the bow, and if you go to the, the blog post, you may actually be surprised at what you find in the first video. Um, so this video here is the second video in that um, we're talking about the, um, the reason that the arrow, the actual sound of the arrow, is, is, is quite so loud, I guess you could say. Um, to me, actually, when I when I looked video and I looked at it several several times, looked at the raw footage um, and everything, and all I've done to that video um, there is actually just cut out the time, the gaps in between, so that you didn't have to sit there and watch a long video. So it's it's basically the the actual it's everything that you heard and you heard in the two. There's quite a bit of difference in the the sound of the of of the bow being shot at you rather than the sound of it from the exact same distance. There's quite a bit of difference. You actually, especially at the shorter distances, out to about 50 yards, you really hear the arrow a lot. At 10, 20, 30, and 40, to me, the arrow was louder than the actual bow. I had a hard time actually hearing the bow almost because the arrow was so loud. And the reason, and I'm going to explain what, why I feel at least the reason for that is, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right, but I mean I could be wrong. Um, and there's a couple things you can do about it to help it. Um, just continue to follow this this blog post and watch these videos and, and read the entire blog post, or if not, go to the blog post. Um, what happens when the, the arrow first comes out of the bow, it's really cooking fast. That bow there was shot is probably shooting that arrow just right at 300 foot a second, maybe just a little bit above. So you've got an arrow coming out at 300 foot a second, and what happens is when it first comes out of the bow, the arrow's bending, it's taking all that force, and then fletchings are, are doing this, and it's, it's just really starting to spin, and it's catching a lot of friction in the air, and you're hearing that, that when it first comes out, it's actually catching a lot of of that friction um, and that is the reason that it's so loud at, at the shorter distances because you're actually hearing that arrow as it's starting to spin once you get out at at 50 at, well really 50 you can hear it a little bit but 50 60 70 and even 80 if you notice at 80 you really couldn't even hardly hear the arrow and the reason for that was is that that sound was so far away that you actually couldn't hear it probably without all the cricket noise in the video you could probably hear that arrow um, a little bit, but it wasn't near as, as bad. And if you haven't seen it, just go to the blog post, you'll see what I'm talking about. But you couldn't hardly hear the arrow. I mean, really, you couldn't even hear the bow. It was just a, just maybe a lot, very faint click, um, and, and nothing really to alert a deer, I wouldn't think. And then you hear the whop when it hits the, the target. Um, the reason for that is that arrow had time to stabilize, and it was spinning, and it wasn't didn't have all that friction. So the problem with it is, is you know, there's really a, not a, no way to completely silence the bow. Some good fundamentals um, to start learning and being prepared for will help you out. So keep following and finish this blog post. If you're not on the blog post, like I said, if you're on YouTube, go to this blog post. Um, it can save you some misery watching a big buck after spending, some of you guys may spend 10, 15 years um, you know, or you know, maybe not that long, but some of you, some of you guys may spend multiple years getting prepared to take the shot of that buck of a lifetime, and with a bow. And they, you know, if you're not prepared for the, the them jumping the string and understand what to do, it can happen to you. So, this is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, go to the blog post, check it out, follow it completely along. I'm going to show you what you what some things you can and can't do um, to help this situation. Uh, but I think being prepared for it is going to be your best bet. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day and bye-bye.